Hello. I decided to do this video because I've seen an awful lot of people using butane and propane in their vehicles. There are alternatives to that. My insurance company probably wouldn't pay if I set my car on fire. Good morning. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to give a few options of things you can cook with in your car that are safe probably won't cause a fire there are a lot of places that say no open fires no camping no no and no um this is to say yes because this you can do inside of your car or van and it's safe what i keep seeing is people cooking in their vehicles with the butane stove I've also seen these flame out. You don't want to be dealing with a fire inside of your van, and your insurance company won't love you either. In the last video I did, I showed a platform for a bed, and I also had it in this direction. I have not charged my power supply, which I should have, but I didn't. But it's going to give me a chance to show you something else. It's a solar panel. This unit has what's called pass-through charging so it will be charging as i'm using it this can be hung up here on the roof rack or it can sit on the ground this is now at 71 percent the first thing is an electric coffee maker descriptions for everything will be in the description section just going to plug that in. That took about a minute. First thing in the morning. That would be first choice. Another option, the French press. I'm going to let that set for a couple of minutes. On to the next thing. I picked this up at Walmart. It was about $10. Just a piece of toast. While that is toasting, There's a pretty decent piece of toast. Butter if you want to. Little skillet. 600 watts max. I have never used this before. <laughs> I'm going to do an experiment. Little cooking spray. Turn it on. Here's the unboxing part. What I am unboxing, lid with a vent hole, that's good. Something to play with. This is a multifunctional electric hot pot. It has a power cord. All of the controls are here. It goes from 250 watts to 600 watts. It also comes with a little spatula. That's cute. I'll keep that in my camp kitchen. This is for boiling eggs. Part of why I bought this is because allegedly you can, it, it doesn't get hot underneath. Let's put some soup. I'd say that was pretty fast. This is a plant-based chili. What I wanted to see is it's running. Does it get hot? Nope. Before I wrap this up, I do want to stress I am not sponsored by anyone. These are just things that I purchased and have been using. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, or you want to give me a comment, send me a thumbs up. I appreciate those too. <laughs> but um, yeah, have a good day and 
Hopefully I'll be out on the road again soon.